Hello everybody and welcome to part 3 of my video sailing course. In this video I explain the point of sale close haul to you. Everything I show in this video you also find in my book Learn to Sail with Captain Sailnator. There I describe everything very comprehensively step by step and explain a few more tips and tricks that I could unfortunately not show in this video. You find a link to the book in the video description. Disclaimer. This video is not meant as a solo teaching aid. It is intended as a supplement to a sailing course. Never go on board a sailboat without an experienced sailor or rather only under the supervision of a licensed sailing instructor. Thank you very much. In my video The Theory Behind Sailing I explained that we need wind for sailing and that we do not sail with the true wind that we feel ashore but that we sail with the apparent wind. This consists of the true wind and the headwind, also called wind of motion. To take advantage of the apparent wind we have to trim the sails so that they are aligned optimally to this wind. When we change our direction of travel in relation to the wind we have to adjust the sails according to the wind. If the bow turns more towards the wind we haul the sails and when the bow turns further away from the wind we ease the sails. The direction we sail on the water is called course. For example, we now sail course 270 degrees and the courses a boat sails in relation to the wind are called points of sail. Turning the bow closer to the wind is called to head up, so we head up to windward. Turning the bow leeward away from the wind is called to bear away, we bear away from the wind. Head up, turn closer to the wind, bear away, turn away from the wind. What does not work at all is to sail directly into the wind. In this case the sails are blown to the rear and cannot catch the wind. If we turn the bow away from the wind a little bit nothing will happen. The sails still flutter in the wind. Only if we bear away about 45 degrees from the wind the sails start to fill up with wind. But that varies from boat to boat. Only now it is possible to sail forward. The wind vane is now pointing diagonally backwards. It is always influenced by the apparent wind when the boat is moving. So only when the boat leaves the area 45 degrees to the right or 45 degrees to the left of the wind the sails will fill up with wind and the boat can move forward. But this is only possible if the sheets are hauled. If they are not hauled the sails will flutter in the direction the wind blows and then the wind will blow past the sails and the boat cannot sail. So we always have to trim the sails in a way that the wind hits them optimally so that the thrust by lift and the thrust by resistance becomes possible. So if we do not haul the sheets the sails will be blown downwind. Now of course the question is how far do we need to haul the sails on course close hauled so that they are optimally flowed by the wind. If we sail on close hauled which is just in the front of the border of the area in that we cannot sail the sails have to be hauled as close as possible. How far differs from boat to boat again but as a rule of thumb you can say that the end of the boom, the boom head, should be above the leeward corner of the stern. The jib has to be hauled as much as possible but not too tight because everything has a braking load. From above you now can see the profile of the sails which are shaped like an airplane wing. And the wind can now flow along the sails, there and there there and there and can generate the negative pressure and the overpressure which is necessary for the lift which we need for the thrust forward. Now we have trimmed the sails for the point of sail close hauled but do we really sail close hauled now and are we really as close as possible to the wind? We do not really know that. If we look up to the wind vane we can see it points diagonally backwards but as I said some boats can move closer to the wind than others. How do we figure that out now? There is a trick. If we sail close hauled and the sails are trimmed as told before we head up very carefully. The bow now turns towards the wind and slowly enters the non-sailing area. At this moment the jib starts to flutter. That is the sign that we already headed up too far. So we cautiously bear away a bit and suddenly plop the jib fills with wind again and at that very moment the helmsman puts the tiller back to the middle. When he has found close hauled that way the helmsman can say sailing close hauled. Now we sail on but steering and keeping the course is not that easy. We immediately notice if we steer too close to the wind because the jib starts to flutter but if we bear away by mistake we do not notice when we leave close hauled. 
unless we constantly look up to the wind vane. But we normally do that only from time to time and most of the time we look forward. Now to keep the course nice and straight we first try to find close hold like I described it before. Then the helmsman looks for a prominent point on shore in front of him and adjusts the bow to it. This can be a house or a rock or a tree or something similar to this. Then he always tries to cover this target with the bow while sailing and so he can keep course quite easily. But this only works close to shore. On the open sea we need a compass. If we bear away from close hold we sail in an area called close reach till we reach beam reach. This is the next point of sail and I will speak about it in the next video. If we do so we have to adjust the sails to the wind direction again. So if we bear away the sails have to be eased. As a command you can say ease sheets to beam reach. And if we head up again we have to haul the sails. As a command you can say sheet in to close hauled. And when the course is reached you can say in this case sailing close hauled. That was the point of sail close hauled and as I said we will bear away to the point of sail beam reach in the next video. Everything I show in this video you also find in my book Learn to Sail with Captain Sailnator. There I describe everything very comprehensively step by step and explain a few more tips and tricks that I could unfortunately not show in this video. In the next video I will explain the point of sail beam reach. You can find a link to the video in the video description. If you liked the video please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel so you will not miss the next video. You also find a link to my book in the video description below. It is written in a way that you can prepare yourself for your next sailing lesson with the respective chapter and then repeat everything you learned afterwards. The book is also available in a colored version and as ebook and book and ebook are great to prepare yourself for a sailing course and also to read during the course about what you are just doing. It is written in a practical way and I think your sailing instructor will explain everything in a very similar way and after reading the book you will understand him better and faster and then you will even learn to sail faster. A link to the book can be found in the video description. I self-published the book and I would be glad if you buy it and support me as an independent author. Thank you very much.